regarding a list of uh, the issues facing the area i think the main concern is uh, the over tourism that's happening in that area there are a lot of tourists who come there who don't behave well who ask to use their bathrooms they don't feel safe there are a lot of issues that they have so what we told them is uh, let them get together first let them uh, sit together decide what it is they want let them propose some solutions also I told them as per as per their request, we will bring together all the concerned departments to make sure that you know they can interact with the, the residents and see how they can resolve the issues. So most of it is, I think, is related to the traffic and to uh, the police department and uh, mostly and photography is an issue. So based on their request, we'll hold a meeting with all the concerned departments and uh, we will check and see what uh, the next step is. But Rohit, uh, do you believe that most of these businesses are guest houses, Airbnb? And uh, these tourists do come inside the car or like the bike. They park in those areas. So, uh, how do you cope up with that? Because they want to visit the business. See, that area is very popular now because of Instagram and social media. That area has become a very popular area. So, these are the people who have done this business. No. See, that, that is one thing. Fine, you can have your business there, and there is no issue. Yeah, what I'm saying is, as a tourist, you have a basic sense of dignity also. No? You don't put your foot up against somebody's wall, you don't randomly enter somebody's house. You don't. Uh, there are so many residents now who have uh, one thing. Resident was telling me that they they put their phones inside the residents' homes to take videos of the houses. They think it's like a theme park and all, which is not true. There are actual residents who are living in that area, so they have to have a basic sense of respect and decency. So now, government is promoting tourism. That's good in a way also, but there are consequences to tourism. It's happening all over the thing. I think uh, there should be some steps, either increased uh, patrolling or something other that has to be done to help these. Uh, How the, would the you also uh, think about the restaurants? There are a number of restaurants there. Hmm. Yeah, that has become a commercial so area. Yeah, this has been one of the reasons. How, hmm. how can you stop that? So that again, now I cannot stop somebody from starting the whole thing also. See now, there are businesses, they need to thrive, they will promote the area also. It's an issue. See, yeah, our issue is not... See, now even when we go abroad also, we behave well. Even though there are restaurants in the area, now we know how to act accordingly. What I'm saying is there has to be some sort of, see either the police or either us or either somebody else has to deploy a force that actually like a liaison between the officials and between uh, the tourists that come to actually tell them how to behave and all. A lot of people think that residents don't live in this area, either through promotions or whatever it is through social media. But that is not the case. The people generally have a lot of uh, problems that need to be resolved also. So, one more thing is they don't want to have their festival also. Yeah, so that festival now is based on the wishes of the people. Now, if they want to have it, we won't have it. That is not a problem also. Okay, then the demand is that like full tourism, one country, one tourist type of budget, one country, one demand is there. See, they had requests now. See, for example, now if you go to that area now, they have tourists starting coming who start coming there at what 5:30 in the morning, 6:00 in the morning for photo shoots. Now, if you all were living in that area also, you all wouldn't want no drones flying over your house, people shooting outside your doorstep. And everyone answers, we are all locals also, no? The moment we have tourists outside, our place we get irritated also. What I'm saying is now there has to be enforcement in terms of behavior of tourists. That is it. They are not saying don't ban tourists from entering the place. Just have that basic decency to not uh, harass them. Now, for example, there are a lot of tourists that come there between 2.30 and 3.30. When all of, and they are all senior citizens. Now, they also need to rest. They are all retired. They want to have a peaceful life. The tourists don't let that happen. I'm saying that should be regulated in the sense. Who will keep a check on this? So that is why now, on Monday, next week we are having a meeting of all the departments. We are calling uh, uh, police, uh, traffic, uh, we will speak to collector and everybody else to make sure. Then let the residents speak to every department, let all the departments put forward their uh, thing also. Now. You know, tourism department will be uh, taken yeah, tourism, on board? Government is uh, promoting tourism also, now. they also have a stake in all of this. It hmm. should, the tourism also should be present. And they should also understand what the effects of over tourism can do to the state also. Uh, CCP is by deploying any person. See, as now I have to check what is legally correct also. Now uh, they let them present their ideas also. Now they have already met uh, the minister also. Let them present their uh, ideas. Once if see if it is possible for me to do, I don't mind doing it also. It is not a problem from my side. Time bound for possible. See, they yeah yeah. So now they will get back to me next week or oh, whenever it is. They take one week for all them to get together, present the issues, come up with a detailed uh, list of demands. 
Once that is there, we'll have a meeting with all the concerned departments. You know, you all are invited to come also. Let them uh, present their thing, and whatever is possible, we'll get done. See, we want to find a permanent solution to the problem. Also, it's very irritating for these people and irritating for us also. Yeah, but commercial they will change. Promises are what will there are a lot of see because again, of that people are coming. Understood that, and also even if there are no commercial thing, also the people think that it's like one of those uh, sets yes. they can just walk through, like in uh, Saint Sebastian. In the that area, there are no restaurants in that one road. But people walk into people's houses and everything also, no. Mm-hmm. So these people also need to be taught that it's not uh, correct to get any of this done. See, ultimately they are locals. We have to stand by them in whatever. Then they are residents also, so we have to stand by them. But one more thing is that uh, one way government wants to promote tourism. You feel from tourism should not be promoted to that side. Where? In that those See, areas. Tourism should be promoted in a very sustainable kind of way also. No, they are saying you want uh, a lot of people to come, but then not having adequate thing to take care of the needs of the locals also is not correct. Especially in these areas, it's a very small area. See, that is what matter. Three lanes and all, and that whole area is over. But if you have one thousand people coming there every day, it's not possible to handle it. No. So they're promoting tourism. Something needs to be done in terms of being able to actually control the flow of tourists. You know, that is what. Even there, one uh, demand was to declare it as uh, no motor zone. See, that has already been done. It already is a no motor zone. Now the only problem they're having is with enforcement. So that is why we want all the concerned officials to be there. So let the residents themselves talk to the police and understand what their difficulties are. So we have to find a common ground with all these departments to make sure that everything is going well. Any other point of meeting? So now depends on them. They will get back to me in maybe one week's time. Let them sit together. Let them finalize. Once they get together, then uh, all of us can go. I think you just I just now said that it is permanent. Uh, I need to solve. Yeah, yeah, we have to find out. But uh, every year same mess was happening. Okay. Well, permanent solution means going forward, no? So, but what happened in the past? Once they come out with their solutions, ah. will CCP adopt those solutions? See, it depends on which department has to do what also. No, no. See, I am prepared to do whatever it takes to make sure those people are uh, comfortable. But we have to act for as per our legal thing also. No, legally, if I am allowed to do it and they suggest it, I don't mind getting it done. I am saying because that is one of the famous areas. And that is what I am saying also. Yeah, yeah. And uh, tourists definitely now want to see that because it's one. No, see, that's what I am saying. That these people also have no issue with tourists coming to the area. They have an issue with how those tourists behave. If they are coming and putting your foot against the wall, walking into your house and everything, no, that is nobody will tolerate that. at all okay. so once that is uh, resolved then we'll see yeah okay uh, had a meeting with the mayor uh, regarding our vacancies we had to, uh, handed over to him uh, this week so he was very um, kind enough to give us an appointment and uh, uh, it was a very positive outcome now we as residents of santome and fontaine uh, have the several issues put forward uh, before the mayor and uh, the first issue was about the festival of fresh the pop which he uh, agreed to uh, for the moment cancel it uh, no for the moment yes cancel it cancel it uh, and not to have it and uh, he being the mayor of our place he will he was definitely with the people of fontaine and uh, santomi so we are very much grateful to him for this what he has done uh, so also there are the several issues which uh, involve several bureaucrats Uh, we go with a lot of sentiments that this has not to be done that has, but he has told us the legal implications, and it involves uh, several agencies: the collector, the uh, police department, and uh, various other agencies, revenue, and all those factors. So we will need to have another session among the members and come with a uh, you know charter of things and solutions where we'll have to present before him and sit before uh, all these agencies, and uh, then they will. directors as how they could go about it for a smooth and permanent solution to our issues so our main our main uh, problems the issue that we face is the parking inside the residential areas so what we have asked the mayor is that uh, there should be a solution so that uh, the tourist vehicles and all other vehicles which are not of the residents should be parked in some centralized area which the mayor has agreed and he says he will definitely look into it the other issue was uh, regarding the sign signages and other boards which are giving a, a wrong direction and people are not able to understand what those boards are so he is is going to have a review of those boards as well the sanitation part because the tourists do not have anything no slabs nothing within the uh, santome and fontaine area So what we suggest is that there is a project of the smart city which is coming just across the Ore Creek, and uh, uh, some solar 
arrangements could be provided on that side so that uh, tourists who are getting into this uh, area of Santomans and for the years have something before they or they, whenever they want to use it, they can go across and use it. So these are a few things that uh, that uh, we have discussed. The other thing that has been discussed is about uh, roving carts and some uh, fruit vendors and all that who are stationed inside our area, which is uh, not a, a good thing to have. Plus, there is some other uh, anti-social elements who are seen there from morning till night every day. So we have discussed that as well. And he has promised that you know he will uh, see that uh, some action is taken. And probably if law permits and uh, they may appoint wardens for the ward, which will take care of all these issues. Anyway, we have, as uh, my colleague has said, we are having another meeting very soon with all the departments, concerned departments with these issues and uh, we'll come to some way to sort out and may have been very helpful in, in, in uh, listening to our grievances and agreeing to find a solution. Thank you very much. Do demand that tourists restriction No, there has to be a regulated uh, system where you don't uh, overburden the infrastructure of the area and uh, and there should be also a timing for these tourists, you know. They come in, especially uh, area has more of senior citizens. And especially during the siesta time, you know, we all go and are used to our afternoon siesta. So that is the time when uh, they don't uh, uh, respect the sentiments of the residents. It is more of a residential area. And uh, business activities are always there. Wherever there is tourism, there is always uh, this type of activities take place. But we also travel abroad. We also go to other places. But we don't behave like that. We respect the sentiments of other people, other places. So we expect the same from them. They should respect the sentiments of the people of the area, knowing it is a conserved and heritage area. There is a certain amount of decorum and discipline involved. So that is what we want. One major, we go major about. thing that, that the mayor has you know, helped us, helped the residents, is to cancel the festival, the, the, the festival of... Uh, uh, Fetch the Pope, what, by what name that goes. So that is one assurance he has given to us, and that is, we are very thankful that you know, he has helped us with that.